So right behind me here is Odelina and she has a growth on her chest and I feel it's really related to her heart. Um, her son chose to leave with his dad to go 16 hours north a year ago and I feel that this lump tumor growth whatever it is on her chest is energetically linked to her heart which is really missing her baby and then when I plugged into her um, I got pictures she'd sent me before of two other foals that she's lost she was semi-feral and um, so she had an owner but no one touched them or did anything with them and she and her brothers were severely malnutrition got them so the image was that her babies died from malnourishment um so and then as i plugged into her i felt for the mustang mamas here you know they they get to keep the baby that they were pregnant with when they came to me but before that they've they've been separated or lost their babies as well so I'm gonna do a more global tapping and it's it's not just gonna be for the horses or your dogs who've lost all their puppies but also for humans who may have lost um, babies through death or miscarriage or you know sometimes people move countries and they have to leave their babies behind and you know there's all kinds of ways that we can be separated from our babies and for me and and for sure for the horse's consciousness maca can you stop doing that honey maca maca you're wrecking my video yeah thank you um There are many ways to lose a child, a baby. Um, and even though they're physically separated from you or they've, they're separated from you through different dimensions, the bottom line is they're not physically with you. And so we're gonna tap on that separation and loss. And it doesn't matter how or why it occurred. So if this is, if you're tapping for yourself, just go ahead. But if you want to bring in any of your animals or your friends or your relatives, you go ahead and do three times. So I'm doing it for Big Mama Odalina standing behind me. So in addition to um, tapping for yourself, you would also say, I am OD tapping for OD. I am OD tapping for OD. I am OD tapping for OD. And I'm going to bring in the other two mamas here, one of whom is staring right at me. I am Sione tapping for Sione. I am Sione tapping for Sione. I am Sione tapping for Sione. And I am Kalia tapping for Kalia. I am Kalia tapping for Kalia. I am Kalia tapping for Kalia. And I am tapping for all of the horses and animals and humans in the collective who wish to receive healing through this session. Tapping for the collective, tapping for the collective, tapping for the collective. All right. So tapping works best when you can make it as specific as possible. So I'm gonna focus on Odie's uh, situation right here. Change the words. If something, if I say he and, and your lost baby is a she, change it to she. Um, if there's something I say that's not accurate and something is coming forth from within you that you want to say, go ahead and say that. All right, so tapping on the side of the hand. So now I'm Odalina. I'm going to say her words and I'm going to connect to her heart center. Even though I miss my boy so badly. 
And even though part of me understands why he had to leave, another part of me is super heartbroken that he left. And even though part of me understands why he had to leave, oh man, such powerful emotion. Even though part of me understands why he had to leave, there's another part of me that wishes it could have been a different way. That wishes there could have been another solution. That wishes the universe could have handed us another option. And nonetheless, I choose to love and accept myself anyway. And even though my heart is breaking and I can't contain this pain and I can't contain this grief and it's pushing out through my skin in a big lump in a tumor of grief and sadness and heartbreak. Nonetheless, I choose to love and accept myself anyway. All this sadness, all this heartache, my heart is broken. I'm in so much pain, not all the time, but sometimes. I wish it could have been another way. I wish there could have been another solution. I wish things could have been different. I just want my baby back. I just want him home with me. I just want him back or I can touch him physically. And I know I can connect with him emotionally and spiritually. But it's not the same as his soft skin. and his warm breath and being able to nuzzle him. Yeah. And being able to kiss him. And play with him. And massage him. and meditate with him physically next to me. And I miss him so much. I miss him with all my heart and soul. I just miss him so much. I miss him. I miss his physical body. I miss his physical love and touch. I miss my baby. I want my baby back. Even though the wiser part of me knows that he's where he's meant to be, I don't care. My physical self just wants his physical self back. I want him back with me. Where he's supposed to be. Where he belongs. Close to my heart. Instead of this gaping hole in my heart. Okay, so I'm going to close my eyes and scan Odie's body. And if this heartbreak and missing and longing lived somewhere in her body, where would it be? And what color and shape and texture might it be? <coughs> Thank you.
Okay. So when you scan yourself or your animal's body, you come up with your own sentence. But for Odie, it's a purple star in her lips that she was and her heart. This purple star in my lips and my heart. This purple star in my lips and my heart. This purple star in my lips and my heart. This purple star in my lips and my heart. It's plump and soft. This plump, soft purple star in my lips and my heart. Mama. This plump, soft purple star in my lips and my heart. This plump, soft purple star in my lips and my heart. This plump purple star in my lips and my heart. This soft purple star in my lips and my heart. Deep breath in. It feels so good to have this loss acknowledged. She's doing a ton of yawning, like huge yawns and licking right now. It feels so good to have this loss honored. It helps my heart to have this loss felt and brought out into the light instead of buried in the darkness of my heart and shared and held among the collective because it's a universal pain and a universal loss and everybody feels it at one point or another it is the pain of our collective animal human plant insect. We all lose our loved ones. Through physical moving away or changing dimensions. This world, the spirit world, it all feels like a loss. just because we can connect to them in the meditative space and in the spirit world. It doesn't make up for the physical loss of their soft, beautiful skin. The physical touch and rubbing and kissing and massaging and cuddling and just being able to gaze upon them in the flesh. To look upon my baby and to feel his breath and to touch his soft hair. There's another mama right here. All this pain, the pain of life, the pain of being on this planet, it just is what it is. It's not wrong, it's not bad. Oh, baby. That's her baby, so we have the mama and the baby right here. Don't send her into me. It just is. And maybe, just maybe, now that this pain, this heart space reality has been brought out into the light, into the open, where we can talk about it and dance with it and feel it and run it through our tissues and cells 
and honor it and bless our big, beautiful hearts. Maybe, just maybe, it's gonna be easier to bear now. I'm never gonna stop missing him, but maybe I won't miss him quite so much. And maybe my missing, <laughs> this is gonna get spicy. Can you guys sort yourself out? Okay, good. And maybe my missing him can be mixed together with love and trust in the highest good. That everything that happens is for the highest good of all the creatures involved. Of course, this life is not just about me. Of course not, I know that. We are a web, we are a matrix. Where so many elements impact and influence so many other elements. And I trust in the highest good of all concerned. I trust that this is not random. I trust that my baby chose to go. For real. <laughs> what, honey? Do you have something to say? Uh-uh. No. Okay, so Pose is saying that we've done a lot of talking about what mama's experiencing and we forgot what the baby's experiencing. So, uh, and even though this is as hard for my baby as it is for me, and his heart hurts as much as mine does, and his pain needs to be held in this collective as well. And his reality needs to be honored and brought into the light as well. And taken together, we are still a circle. We are not fractured. We are not broken. We are still complete. And we are whole. And we all exist within the matrix of love. Don't knock my phone over, please. Don't knock the camera. Thank you. We all exist in this collective together. And my healing is your healing is my healing your healing is my healing is your healing in a never-ending circle for all the creatures humans plants soil for every live sentient being on this planet the mountains the trees we are all in a connected circle and our love and our pain and our hearts are in one never-ending loop. <laughs> Mama says she feels better. And we bring it out into the light, the yin and yang, the colors of the rainbow, each color and experience, no judgment just the colors of life that we come to this planet to experience. We bring it all into the light and we hold it. We hold it together in our giant mama hearts. Because this is our gift to the world. 
Now we are big and strong enough to hold this space and to flow it into the universe for all creatures, for all of creation. for everything in this beautiful light and dark. <laughs> She's like, stop tapping and oh, God, scratch my butt. No, not right now. I'm not done yet. Not yet, mama. Mama says we're done. No, no, we're really done. We're really done. The tapping session. Can I finish it off, Mama? Can I just finish it off a little bit better than that? Because I was like in the middle. I've got the other mama right here, Kalia, next to me. And I've got her baby right there. I'm actually, okay, I have to show you guys this. I am surrounded by only mamas and babies. These are all mamas and babies. And the boys are out there. The boys and the horse who hasn't had a baby of her own, although she certainly mothered these guys a lot. They are out in the other area. Okay, so Odie's, Odie's saying, no, no, we need to be finished. <laughs> and you need to scratch my belly and minister to my physical body. So I guess that would be a great way to um, end this session would be to, yes, Kali agrees, to go and do something physically nurturing for yourself. So whether that's getting body work, a massage, uh, Odie's asking me to put my hands on her and, and make her body feel better. So um, I, don't think, I don't think the horses are saying just have a bath. I think they're saying go and get your physical body loved and held in a healing space. So go and get whatever massage or body work is going to give your cells and your tissues that space of being held. Allow someone else to give that to you. Thank you, Odie. Thank you, Kalia Sione. That's Kalia's baby, Zeta. And Sione's baby, Posa, who helped us bring in the baby's child aspect of this whole topic. Namaste.